We're in that city of Fort Square. But it's a going upward one day, that's why I ain't talking. Yeah, well, just
Brother Paul, man. You want to hear if I sing a song with
Jesus' blood took care of it all. Yeah. 
Yeah. 
forget how many uh, the brothers and sisters was hurting and things that went on with their friends and their family and stuff, and they couldn't do a thing in the world about it. And uh, it's trouble, Brother Charlie, to the soul. It is. And because you're wondering, uh, will they ever wake up before it's too late? Yeah. And I see, I see some bad times ahead. Yeah. And I, I really do. I see some bad times ahead. And I just wonder, I wonder if that will cause the people uh, to really believe, to see, and know that these things is going to happen, what he said in the book. And uh, if we don't do what he tells us to do, uh, he tells us, Brother Charlie, where we're going. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to go back. <clears throat> oh, I don't want my loved ones to go there either. That's right. So we try to do everything we possibly can. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, coaching and not be a part of that worldly stuff. Yeah. I used to be in the world. I loved it then. I thought there was nothing like it. And now yeah. I put away all of it uh, because I learned. I learned that there's a better place uh, to work for than go home. I waited, right, right. I waited up a long time ago, Amen. Brother Charlie, and I said, how could anyone and we refused that wonderful offer. <laughs> no money. <laughs> he paid it all for us. Sure did. Sure did. So why not? Why, why won't you get it? It's not an understanding. So, I just wanted to, to say that. Real that, good. That, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's bad times. And, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've got a lot of i got a lot of things wrong with me, and there's no use to me of telling you and going through uh, all the things that's wrong with me uh, that, that you all will never know. And, uh, and uh, a lot of times when I go to ask for prayer, I think about the ones Brother Rogers or oh, worse than I am. Yeah. Worse off than I am. And the things that's happened to them. And you know the worst thing on a human being is your mind a worrying about this and a worrying about that. Worrying, worrying about things a lot of times we can't do a country. Right. 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 Yeah. So all we can do is say, Lord, help them and work with them. Yeah. Right. Uh, before you in, in, before you call it to a close. And I'm telling you, friends, if it ain't close, I am bad wrong. Yeah. I think it, uh, the end is nigh. So if we're gonna, if we're gonna go to that wonderful home that he's got prepared for us, uh, then it's time, it's time to get down to business, as the brother said. And let's watch what we do, watch what we say, yeah. uh, watch how we act because we're being watched, and uh, uh, let's be good to the ones uh, that are lost. Yeah. And uh, I used to look down at him and before I learned better, and uh, I found out that it was wrong. We the same condition. And, uh, yeah. you know, you've been in this way for years, you should learn a little something. That's right. And, Amen. And, and I have. I got a long way to go. Uh, and uh, I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to sit down. Uh, Church, you have no idea. You have no idea how blessed, how blessed we are Amen. to have the speakers and that's in this association that will speak up and tell you the truth and stand on the truth. Yeah. Yeah. I starved for many years uh, for the gospel. And me and Georgie has mentioned before with everything that's happened to her health and stuff up here, it could happen down there. And, and made a statement like, well, we never, we never should have moved here. And then right on the other hand, I told her, I said, how could we go off and leave the wonderful, the wonderful feelings that we have? And meeting with her brother and sister. How can 
will be, we'd never be satisfied, Brother Rods. Never be satisfied. And the old saying is, you can't never go back and pick up where you left off. And uh, so, it, it's, it, it, I don't know if it was uh, uh, wrong in us to leave in here. Uh, I, sometimes we make decisions, friends, and, and they don't come out too good. Um, but I, I was gone all them years, but my mind has never changed. Not one bit. It's never changed from the, the old way that I was taught. I can see that for sure. And before I left here, I always kept that in mind, and I stood on it. Thank the Lord. Uh, Thank the Lord. Because I thought by the time that it was the right way to do. And I want to do everything that I possibly can. Uh, uh, holding my Lord up, I want Him pleased with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know that I'm not nothing special. I, I know that for a fact. But we have got some special people uh, that I'm in church with that I dearly love, and they'll tell us the truth. And and. Uh, if you've not had that, you go to other places, not talking about them. They have their ups and downs too. But to go and hear the Word preached and know what they're preaching about and know that they're living it. Wonderful. It's, it's wonderful, friends. Seems like the blessings just come so much easier. And I, I just can't believe, I, I, I say this all the time, I just can't believe the closeness. Uh, and that I'm God. And Brother Donald, my church partner. Yeah, we just saying this evening, we, we talked to our church family and had more to do with our church family than we do with our regular family. Yeah. And uh, it's always joy. Always joy to be uh, with the family. I had a desire to come here tonight because I could just picture all the faces that was coming and every time every time that I don't come don't get a chance to come my mind is on I wonder what they're doing I wonder if they're having a good time and then when they tell me well I guess you had a good time yeah we had them when you should have been there now, I already know yes sir I should have been there and anytime you don't go friends yeah. and uh, uh, some preachers uh, they're, they're preaching that not to neglect to assemble ourselves together. Well, uh, some of them is not living it. Uh, they were preaching that, uh, but but they don't think it's serious. But I'm I'm telling you, friends. Every time that you have a chance to go serve your Lord, and you don't do it, you miss something. You you miss the chance the chance then. And, and, you know, I don't feel like going like I used to run time. And years ago, and I could just jump up and be ready to go. And, and now I see why he says to work while it is day. And so you can enjoy. And another thing, and when the, uh, my brothers and sisters don't come, they don't show up, uh, uh, I'm missing a blessing, Brother Charlie. I've sat in the seat in front or behind a good brother or sister that's enjoying the good uh, pleasures of God and it runs from breast to breast. Yeah. And so I profit uh, uh, when they do that and when they yeah. can. Yeah. Uh, so let's all stick together yeah. and uh, let's fight this thing to the end and let's be careful about how we do with this uh, uh, disease, and but let's still <coughs> assemble ourselves together every time we can. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I'll tell you, you'll find out that they strengthen it. Yeah. And because uh, every time that I go to the house of the Lord, I go home, I go home a lot stronger. Oh, yeah, yes. And I want to. I want to continue that to the end. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 that's my hope, and I, I don't have no no desire for the earthly things of this world anymore. Uh, I, I 
couldn't enjoy and because of my health. But I'm thankful for my health and, and thankful for the blessings uh, that he blesses me. Uh, well, above measure, he blesses us all. Yeah. But uh, I got my eye on heaven. Yeah. And I don't think I'm going to have to wait too long. And I want everyone to go with me. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and you'll say, well, he, he don't know me that well or whatever. Uh, yeah, I do. That's a soul and my brother and my sister. And I don't want them to be lost. I want them to go with me. That's right. And may the good Lord bless us all and bless us the remainder of this service. Yeah. And I got what I come for tonight. I got a blessing tonight. And I'm expecting some more. And the next time I go, and that is my strength from one day to the next. Thank you. Brother Charlie. Let me take this time. Brother Judy, can I have about five minutes? Time, brother. We love you too. You know, I, I was down south a couple of weeks ago. Brother James Clark was down there testifying. Brother James Clark said we ought to be studying so we can give somebody an answer. Yeah. And we should, you know. And, and we always want to be given an answer. I've got a little bit of a situation. I know Brother Clifford. It. I've got lost grandchildren, lost children, and their papa, he, he believes in that millennial reign. But this papa don't. You know, that, that puts you in a tough spot. And I, and I ain't picking on nobody. Hey, no, uh, go wherever you want to go, Brother Rock. I mean, you know. But when one of your lost grandchildren asks you a question, Tom, I mean, anybody that's Lost, we want to tell them yeah, the best way we can, you know. Yeah. Uh, and especially if it's one of yours, brother yeah, Junior. That's the way we are. Yeah, it's, that's the way it is. And, you know, I, I, and I know that they don't read the scripture, brother Tommy. And but I, I know what Jesus said. I think Paul quoted him a little bit too. He said, "If we can understand the natural, the way the natural things work in this world." I think he said if we can't agree on the natural, there ain't much use to try to get in the spiritual. So I told him, I said, do you know what an embassy is? You know, the United States has got embassies. Yeah. We got them all over this world, though, yeah. Yeah. We got them in Russia, China, I don't know how many we've got. And Russia's got them over here. Seems like about every country on earth wants to put an embassy over there. And if you know the purpose of an embassy, an embassy was put over there not to take over Russia, but the American citizens, the people who are in Russia, if something happens, if they're in trouble, it's for the benefit of the citizens that are in that country. And they tell me, brothers, that that embassy, the United States embassy that's over there in Russia, is the same if you're standing in the United States. That's the way it's supposed to be. Now, they actually own that over there, but that part of ground, it belongs to them, and that's the way it's supposed to work. And whenever time you see trouble come up in this world today, they get trouble over there, the first thing they want to do is they want to go over and get their people out of there. And they'll tell the people over there, they're saying, get yourself to the embassy so we can evacuate you and get you out. We understand how the natural works now. Brothers, 2,000 years ago, they came into this world from a far country, Brother Roger. And with a great price, brothers, yes. he established upon this earth embassies throughout the whole place. His church and his embassy. Yeah, if you're standing here today, you are standing in the kingdom of the Lord God Almighty. Amen. Right there. Amen. Amen. I ain't looking for a kingdom, Tommy. I'm in the kingdom, brother. I'm, I'm standing on the soil of the kingdom of God. Right Purchased by the blood Amen. of the Son of the living God. Amen. 
Kings. And like Brother Cletus said, boys, I see a storm a coming. Yeah. If you ain't in the embassy, if you ain't in the church, if you, I don't care if you want to call it a church, you can call it a kingdom, brother. It's exactly the same thing, yeah. brother Roger. Yeah. There is not one bit of difference in it, brother. Amen. It was paid for by his blood that belongs to him. Yeah. Amen. 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 Boys, I'll tell you, I, I, I feel sorry, like Brother Cleese, and I see a storm coming, son. I, I, if you ain't, boy, if you ever thought there was ever a time, Brother Cleese, yeah. that a man needs to get into the yeah. kingdom of God, it's today, brother. Yeah. 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 You gotta press into it. You gotta press into it. You gotta press into this, dude. You know, Brother Roger, I know these boys read. I know Brother Junior read. I know Brother Tommy read. You can go down there, and they say that when Moses came out. Uh, Israel down uh, Egypt down there and went to the promised land, he done naturally what we're doing today. Most believe that, you know. But I'll tell you what, you know what they came at? God already had the kingdom set up. He already had the borders for Israel to go in, and they've never been increased, Brother Tom. We are headed for the kingdom, brother. It's already established, brother. You know, and, and when Moses came out, they went through the land, and they didn't bother the king on the right. He said, don't bother the evil. Don't bother these people. He said, you go straight as you can to that promised land. They was not interested in trying to take over the Edomites or the Amorites or the Philistines or whatever it was, Brother Roger. He was going to take his people to that kingdom. God has never wanted to do this, brother. Like they preach he's going to come... Brother Junior, get yourself in the kingdom, boys. Yeah. Stay in the kingdom. Right, I thank God I'm in it. I ain't worried about what's going on. Uh, it troubles me greatly because I know I've still got lost people out there. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah. And that's what bothers me the worst. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know sometimes I feel like Brother Tommy did. I'd just like to leave here and go home. I, yeah. I really would. But I read one time that what Jesus said about a lot down in there. He said, them angels down in there. And this is the thing that I always love more than anything else, Brother Rex. And my angel was going to burn that place a lot, noted. And when he said, dragging his feet, he said, uh, What you're going to have to, we can't do nothing as long as you're here. You move away. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Try to stay here as long as I can. Well, I'll speak for Hey, son. We're on a journey. We're on a journey. Yeah, right. Amen. But I thank God for that. And you know what? I ain't going over to Jerusalem. No, stand steadfast. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He came from a lot farther place than over in Jerusalem, Brother Tom. Sure did. Uh, son, he came there a long way. He came back before the Garden of Eden. He made Adam out of the dust of the earth. Yeah. He said, Father, I want to go back before this world was. That's where he came from. Yeah. And I'm going to leave, this, leave here, Brother Tom. Yeah. Oh. Go with the Lord. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Yeah. 
They saw it and believed not. So is it any different than right now? There's people that hear the gospel and, and we that believe will sit there in, in amazement that nobody didn't raise their hand, didn't move. We're living in a strange time. Right? Yeah. God knows all about it. There might be some here this evening. Probably are. You need to you need to lay aside all this stuff. Sure. You know yeah. what to do. You you need to follow that little still small voice. That right. voice is a saying. You know, won't you just move out? Won't you just let go of everything and just put your trust in the Lord? And put one foot in front of the other and say to the, to whoever you're speaking any time during the service. Yeah. Like Brother Tommy said this morning, I mean, when the Lord's calling, that's time to move. Amen. Don't have to wait till the end of service. Okay. And uh, follow that spirit. And say, as for me in my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. If you don't ever get started, you're never going to make it. That's right. That's right. It's just that simple. Amen. Anybody is. It's always like church member of them on their neighbors. Two places. <laughs> my boys and girls too, right here. Don't forget that. I mentioned it. Call Allen. Don't forget him. I mentioned several on the radio this morning thinking about our people. And no doubt mentioned and, and, and forgot to mention me yet. I mean, that's just the way my opinion mind is. So we hope people that's listening will add them to it, you know, at least. Anybody else? I'm first remember my life. You wore a route taking a route to the ranch. Yeah. Oh, my. First <laughs> remember my wife, and I also remember Kenny Mike. Bob the Skinny, and joined the church. Actors, yeah. And remember him? I figured. I thought coming down. I, thought, I don't know where he's in the hospital or where he's at. I don't like his son. But anyhow, I thought that. So yeah. remember him? Oh, the place. Yeah. A lot of sick folks. Anybody else? Uh, Brother Charlie, I'd like for you to the church to remember that uh, Dennis Harold Maynard lives over on Sweetwater. He's had yeah. an awful bad, I think, Fort Will wreck. I think about most of his ribs are broke and punctured lung and then they was operating on him. I heard they punctured another one operating on him and, and they're keeping him in a coma right now. Uh, you know, boy, he's in so much pain and stuff. They can ask the baby not even come back. They want to keep him in a coma. And, yeah, he's in a bad shape and, and, and if he and he don't know the Lord and if he does get through that, maybe the Lord will him enough time to think it's a go for that but yes. Brother Charles, remember my home and Mark Queen is to have surgery on Thursday unless things change. Uh, he's got to have his kidneys taken out. He has a new kidney but they're going to take out the old. They don't do that when you get a kidney. I didn't know that so he's had a Else. Brother Evan Thomas, I just know that he's a Jimmy and Herb and that Jimmy and there he is. One of the brothers that he has, he had, he's doing something in his garage, he said.
Remember our family, Brother Charlie, and our lost children? Yes. Remember my wife? Yes. Remember my family? Yes. You know, Brother Sick all weekend. Yes. Trish came to church this morning. I was really glad to see her. She might be feeling a little bit better. She started to come this evening. A little weak. They always told her to stay home. Don't blame Try to get her strength back. So just remember what we had one or two down at church right here in the prayer. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Jim, it's been a while since she's a shirt. We've been in church. I've seen more of them coming than seen God. They're not there. Yeah. Remember? Yes. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, Brother Tom.
Even when he was hanging on the cross, here the wicked men had taken him and nailed him on that cross. You have taken, Peter said, you have taken in my wicked hands and crucified the King of Kings. You have taken this, this same one that you have taken by wicked hands and crucified. This same one that God has made him both Lord and Christ. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But while he was hanging there on the cross, knowing that he was going to taste death. <laughs> knowing that the wicked man, the wicked men that was around him, he knew, I believe, Brother Tommy Downer, that when just before that he was ready to give up the ghost, yeah. you talk about his mercy and his grace. Yeah. Listen, you know what he says. Listen. Looked out over the congregation. A lot of wicked men there. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Even those who kissed him. Yeah. Father. Forgive them. Yeah. Well, they know not what they do. They Think know. about that. They didn't know. Had they known, they didn't know. Went out into the garden to pray before he went to the cross. Well, I'm saying surely this one. <laughs> Kneeled down and prayed, and I believe. Didn't have nobody to go with him, Brother Tom. Some of the brothers there, I believe, before that, Peter said, Lord, you, the Lord knew that they were going to be separated. Yeah. It was written that the, the shepherd was going, to, it was going to smite the shepherd, and the sheep was going yeah. to be scattered. Yeah, man. That's right. He knew that, didn't he? Yeah. That's Bible. Peter said, Lord, I, I won't. I'll die with you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of times that we mean well. He probably would. But when it comes right down to the test, what we act. We mean well sometimes, brother. Listen, it seems like uh, that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yeah, the Lord said, yeah. yeah. He said, Lord, I'll die with you. And I think some of the rest of them maybe said the same thing. Peter, before the cock crows, Christ, you'll deny me. Peter didn't think he'd do that, did he? So when he was put to the test, what did he do? He denied no What are we going to do if we're put to the test? We all stand sometimes that we make back brags and boast how strong or Christian we are here in this life. But really, when we are put to the test, where is our faith? Yeah, yeah think about it. Yeah. Here they walk by. Here I believe Peter followed them. And some of them begin to say, well, you're one of them. No, no. He got so angry, Brother Jr., I believe he went to cussing. I'll tell you one thing when that old rooster crowed. He knew that he had messed up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He sure did. Heart was broke. He remembered. Yeah. He remembered. But I began to think how mindful of Jesus. Father, into thy hands yeah. I commend my spirit. <laughs> he done that for us. Yeah. Yeah. Smitten of God. That's right. Despised and rejected of men. Yeah. The just. He was a just man. Yeah. No fault whatsoever. He was the 
just one a dying for the unjust. That's right. Brother Tom? That's right. Thank God. Bless the Lord. That's right. Peter, he paid the price. Yeah, yeah, he paid it all. No wonder when he got up out of the grave, he said, all oh, power is mine, both in heaven and on earth. He has the power tonight to forgive sin. Yeah. He's able to forgive everyone tonight that will call upon him. Brother preached this morning when he got got uh, got through the preaching. Three and a half years, I believe, he preached concerning the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. Yeah. He was establishing his kingdom, yeah. making it ready of people to go out into the world uh, to preach unto people that he may add them to the kingdom. That's Amen. right. He's the one that adds men and women to His church here upon the earth. We preach the gospel when men and women believe it and repent it toward God. He will add you to His church. Amen. Uh, we don't add it. No man, we can't. Listen, we're nothing. It's all about Jesus tonight. Amen. We were less than nothing. Yeah. But now since He has translated us into the kingdom of His dear Son tonight, bless God tonight, don't sell yourself short because we are children of the Most High God. Amen. Praise the Lord. We're His children. Yeah. We're the children of the kingdom tonight. If He has put you in it, work in it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Find your point. Amen, Brother Tom. Maybe I can go over here. Take your time, Brother Rod. God adds to the church daily. And He knows. My friend, listen, if you're lost tonight, you may pray for the things of this world. And God heareth not sinners when you pray for the things of this world. But He will hear every sinner that will come to Him through repentance. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. God will hear a sinner because He said to call upon me while I'm here. Mm -hmm. He won't hear your prayers if you're praying for the worldly goods. No. But He will hear you if you come to Him with a broken and a contrite spirit. Amen. He will in no wise turn your way. I, I thought about this woman thinking about her today, I was thinking about her, how the God, how the Lord was merciful. There was a, there was a Pharisee desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet and behold, a woman in the city which was a sinner. When she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, mm -hmm. and stood at his feet behind him. She didn't get down in front of him and look up at him chewing bubble gum and what have you, or a bunch of laughing and going on, listen. She humbled herself down and she had a desire to see Jesus. Yeah. People ain't going to go to heaven if they don't get a desire to be with Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Praise Him stood at the feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head. Yeah. 
and kissed his feet and anointed them with ointment. This woman was sincere. Yeah. Yeah. We got people today that will come and they will join the church and put their name on the church book. You never see them no more right. in the church. You got a lot of that. Brother Tom, we read a big number on the wall sometimes, so many members that we've got. But where are they at? Yeah. If you don't get humble before God and humble yourself down and desire to know Jesus tonight, my friends, you're wasting your time. Amen. Yeah. I see a lot of people wasting their time. I've got this one's perfect. But I'm telling you tonight, if you'll get sincere with number one, uh, listen, you can find out how to go to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This woman desired something. As same as we, when we got started, I uh, listened to live a Christian life. Uh, we had a desire, and that's why we're still with it tonight. Yeah. Well, Clever, I didn't start out. Uh, Forty some years ago, I listened just to get my name on a church book. But I had a desire uh, to make heaven my home. Yeah. I had a desire uh, to escape the great day of God's wrath. I've still got that desire. I don't want to face His wrath. Now, when the Pharisees which had been in him saw it, oh, they was astonished. They was amazed, wasn't they, what that woman did? He spake within himself. This this Pharisee, he, he would have some. He had some imaginations, didn't he? Yeah, he knew. He had some thoughts running yeah. through his mind. He's the Lord. He didn't know what kind of woman. Listen. Is. That Pharisee, he had some, he had some thoughts of himself running through his mind about this woman. Lord, not all about it. We've had them too, ain't we? That's right. We've had thoughts why that sinner going down the road there. What kind of person is that anyway? Oh, I wish I had to have a lot of mind too, but I wish I would have had more mind of Christ. Yeah. I wish I'd had more of His mind in me. I wouldn't have been thinking about. It. This one going down the road naked or that and over 300 naked or whatever. Christ died for people like that. Christ died for the ungodly. But listen, when the Pharisee saw he had been, the Pharisee which had been him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, this man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner woman this is that touched him. For she is a sinner. No wonder the Word tells us except our righteousness far exceeds the righteousness of the Pharisees. We shall in no wise make it. We can't have the mind of what the Pharisees had. They boasted within themselves. Here this little woman, she just humbled herself down and went behind the Lord and bowed herself down and washed His feet with her tears. Yeah. Yeah, something led her there. Sinner, friends, don't never think that the Lord won't save you. When you get honest with God, with God and His Son Jesus Christ, and you call out on Him for repentance of your sins, this same mercy will be extended to you. Amen. 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 Jesus answered, said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say to you. He said, Master, Say on. Say on. 
Boy, didn't Jesus give him a good sermon. Jesus gave him a good sermon. And he also gave us a good lesson. Brother Tommy, he gave him a good sermon and gave us a good lesson out of it. Yeah. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence, the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of, which of them will love me most? Pretty easy. Yeah. Think about it. Simon Antrim said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. Think about that, yeah. How many vile sinners, ungodly people, that you've seen come up in our generation? We always thought, Brother Jeremy, they weren't worth laying to blow their brains out with. That's what we've said a lot of. But that's not so, is it? That's right, brother. It's not so. Right. We thought we were something when we were nothing. God took nothing and made something out of us. Amen. Thank God tonight. Yeah. He has changed our life from a sinner to a saint. Are we happy? Yeah. Bless God I am. Thank yeah, you, Lord. Yeah. You may not think I am, but I'll tell you one thing. By the authority of God, I am one. Yeah. yeah. And if you've been born again of God's Spirit and you've been obedient to God, you're a saint of God. Yeah. Amen. Right. Brother Tommy, I begin to think how precious in the eyes of the Lord are the death of His saints. Yeah. That's us. That's, that's us. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right, brother. He can make a saint out of nothing. He did me. And he did you. If you're a child of God tonight, and, and if you're not a child of God, he can make a saint out of you tonight. Yeah. Amen. 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 It ain't no harder for him to make one out of you as it was me. Yeah. I thought of these scriptures. I thought of this coming up for us. Yeah, real good. How mindful. That God was to you and me and all the rest that's in this world. When he was willing to give his son to go to a cross, mm -hmm. despised the shame, endured the suffering, even to the death on the cross. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love me most? Simon answered and said, I suppose he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman. Good news. Good news. Best you could hear. He turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? She was a sinner. Sins are true. Mm -hmm. You humble yourself down, friends, and be serious and desire Jesus, you can have the same reward. Amen. Amen. That's, right. That's right, brother. The same thing. That's what it takes. Seest thou this woman, Simon? I entered into your house, thine house. Thou gave me no water for my feet. Yeah, you didn't do nothing. Pharisees probably didn't even hardly recognize Jesus. That's why I don't want to feel no greater. What he done for me, he'll do for anybody. You know? Amen. He will save you. Yes, he will. 
Thou gave me no water for my feet. But she had washed my feet with her tears. Must be something her. I believe that woman and humbled herself. Yeah, Very sincere. Desiring. She had a desire to go over to that house where she knew Jesus was. Yeah. My good set of friends tonight, I'm glad that you got a desire to go to where you can hear about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The devil didn't give you that. No. The devil didn't give that to that woman to go over there where Jesus was at that Pharisee's house either. Amen. It takes a desire. It takes a being sincere. Oh, You gave me no water for my feet, but she had washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with the hair of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman, since the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet. Yeah. It's a getting down her head. She got herself down there where she needs to be. How humble yeah. should we be? She brought herself down. Just about like in two men that went into the temple to pray. Mm -hmm. One of them said, Lord, I'm glad that I'm not like so and so down the road. He sounded like he might have been a Pharisee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're still around. Yeah. We've got a lot of Pharisees in the country today, too. Yeah. Yes. I thank you, Lord, that I'm not like an adulterer or that liar or whatever they were down the road. They'll spring up in us, really. Pay my tithe to do all this and that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a pretty good fellow. Look at me. Yeah. Here, this other little fellow down here beside him there didn't as much as lift his eyes toward heaven. He smote himself on the chest. Said, Lord, be merciful to me to be a sinner. Yeah. Yeah. That's a simple prayer, ain't it? Humble himself. Yeah. Yeah, I wish that my children, I wish that you, I wish that our people would come sincere with Jesus and humble themselves down and begin to pay attention to Jesus like this woman did. Yeah, what else? Here, this little man that didn't even look up to Jesus and say, I, I thank you that I'm not like my neighbor down the road. I'm not like that old church member that belongs up the road up here or the hypocrite or whatever. I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm not like him. Yeah, I'm a good brother. I hear that. I hear people making excuses. Well, if that man down the road that belongs to church, if he goes to heaven, I won't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it if you don't go. Amen. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. You don't have to worry about it. You may not worry about it much here, but you'll worry about it in the year after. But here this little man, the Bible says that this little sinner man went down to his house justified rather than this other fellow. Yeah. It's the humbleness. People humble their heart. And call out on the Lord. That's it. You'll get results. My head with oil, thou didst not anoint, anoint me. Talking to Simon. My head, you didn't anoint my head, but this woman has anointed my feet. She went as low as she could. Yeah. Over herself down as, as far as she could go. Sincere. People are not sincere today, Brother Jerry. A lot of them, we got their names on church books, are not sincere. But they will one day after a while. They'll get sincere, but it'll be too late for some of them. She anointed his feet with the ornament. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins. Was she a good old person? But I'm a pretty good person. Did she say that or did he say that? 
tell her that? Right. Thou sins which are many right. are forgiven her. Best thing she could ever hear. Right to slate clean. Best thing anybody could hear. Yeah. Who's this man forgiven sin? Yeah. Yeah. Her sins which are many are forgiven for she loved much. She sincere or what she? She loved Jesus enough to bow on her, clear down as far as she could go. Mm -hmm. She was sincere enough about her sins that she shed the tears that washed her Savior's feet. Amen. Very precious ornament. Yeah. They even rebuked her for using it. Worth a lot of money. Why did you use that? We could use that to worry his burial. Yeah. They yeah. weren't worried about her, the expense of her burial. They want something to quarrel about. I've seen people quarrel with me and seen them quarrel with people. They they even they quarrel or die one or the other. Get the last word. Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this forgiven sin? Mm. Who is this that forgiveth sins also? Well, he said, I'm about to be so good. Yeah. And he said to the woman, Thy faith, you hear us preach all the time. Faith, come by here. Yeah. I'd say she'd heard about it. She'd, she'd heard about it. That's the reason she had a desire to go over to that house. That's right. Amen. That's right. Yeah, I'm looking for her. So you've heard about Jesus. That's why you've got a desire to come here tonight. Yeah. But you need to do something else but, but come to church. You need to put a little bit of works with your actions. And put a little bit of actions with your faith. Have a desire to do the will of Jesus. Uh, this woman, listen. He said to the woman, Thy faith has saved thee. Mm -hmm. Go in peace. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, do you good. remember when you it's went away in peace? <laughs> I still can remember the filth. <laughs> peace like a river. We can sit around and do nothing and be lost in the end. That's right. No work, no play. It's a bad Whatever's right, he says, I'm going to be right. He won't make no mistake. Yes, he will. Thy faith have saved thee. She could have sat right over there in the little house and sat on her faith the rest of her life and be lost. Mm -hmm. A lot of our people are doing that, Brother Ross. Yeah, they are. They'll come to church and sit on her faith. Sit right there and die in her sins. James said, Faith without works is dead. That's right. No good. Been alone. You can have all the faith and have not works. James said, show me your faith I'm without works and I'll show you my faith by my works. Yeah. Right. Faith without works is dead. Just like the body that you're in tonight uh, without the Spirit, it, it would be dead. Yeah. 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 But if you put faith with your works, It'll make you alive. Amen. Christ Jesus. I thought about how Jesus had compassion on that woman. I believe Brother Tommy might have been the same one. That he had cast about what seven devils out of? I believe it was about seven devils he he cast out of it. He cast out several demons, several devils. 
Yeah, man. Yeah, they knew it. Many different people. Yeah. Some of the devils, they, they, why, why have you come to torment us before our time? He had he had a lot of devils. That one man did. He he made his he made his bed in the tombs of the night. Yeah, yeah. A crazy man. But he knew that he was the son of God, didn't he? Yeah, man. He knew that Jesus was the son of God. Yeah, And the devils knew that he was the son of God. Yeah. They knew. Why don't you just let us go over here and get in these swine? The devil is driving our people crazy tonight. Yeah. They're possessed with devils. They're possessed with demons. I listen, but the, but Jesus is able to cast out every demon yeah. in people's lives. That's right. Yes, sir. Clean them up. He's able to clean them up. I've seen him clean up some pretty rough ones. Oh, boy. Thank God for them, too. Yeah. Oh, dear. He gave them devils an opportunity to go over and join into them swine. Yeah. And I believe he drove, I believe them devils drove the swine crazy. They even took a run and go over the cliffs. You don't think the devil got power tonight? He's causing a lot of our people tonight with drugs. Needles and all this. They failed him later or he could not rise. Here this man probably cut himself. Yeah. Have you seen people do that in this world? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Processed with devils and demons. Crazy out of their mind. Taking stuff and shooting in there and going out of their mind and cutting herself. That man was he slept in the graveyard probably naked. That's right. Bad shape. According to the scripture. They yeah. bind them in chains and fetters and he'd break them. Yeah. He's bad. But he had a change. Oh, yeah. Well, they but it was a change. Gone. No wonder the people sang that song. They've been a change in me. Yeah. I'd say that old man had it. He probably sung that song too, but you had it. <laughs> Listen. People went into the city, told them. About this man and told him about Jesus. And all your hogs are gone. Yeah, they all them hogs drowned. Let's go see what happened. They want to come back and see what happened. Here they found this crazy man who used to be. Dressed, clean. Well, that's right. He dressed that different. Yeah, he's dressed. I say he had some clothes on. I wish our people that are, have been cleaned, I wish they put their clothes on tonight. I think we're letting the old demons slip back in. Yeah. Think about it. <laughs> right back. We have been cleansed. We have oh, been clothed oh, upon. Oh, I listen from that house which is from on high tonight. Yeah. Thank the Lord. He clothed us in His righteousness. Here they come out to see that man. Yeah. Take your time, my brother. Listen. Well, Jerry, I could, I could, I could just about see them people coming. They heard about all these devils and all these demons that going in and drowning, drowning these hogs in the river. Yeah, they worry about the hogs. But when they come there, they got there's something that they wasn't expecting. That's right. There you go. They seen the work of God. They seen the work of Jesus Christ working in a man there. Oh, that was crazy and out of his mind. And when they found him, Brother Rex said they found him. He was clothed and in his right mind. Yeah. Sitting at the feet of Jesus. Bless God tonight. And He will clothe you tonight in His righteousness if you'll come down before Him. I love you tonight. 
I love Jesus and I but I want you to know if you're going to say you hear that you'll have to have a desire Amen. you have to go yeah. to the house of the Lord yeah. Yeah. you have to have a desire I to call upon Jesus and go where he's at My friends, tonight, listen, you can't save yourself. You cannot save yourself. You cannot give yourself life. But Jesus can. That's right, brother. are just so many things in here that we read about what the Lord can do. Do any that. A woman that had an issue of blood. Spent everything that she had. Rather grew worse. Yeah, going to die. She was on her way out. If I understand what the scriptures yeah. say. Rather grew worse all the time. Yeah. But she said, listen. Brother Cleo, she said, if I but touch the hem of his garment. If I, I had to believe if I would call upon him, it would save me. Yeah. Yes. I had to believe that. I had to have faith in that. If I would call upon him, it would save me. The brother that preached for years in my year here. If thou believest, thou mayest. Yeah. Here she said, if I could but touch the hem of his garment. She had faith in Jesus and what he had Amen. done. Amen. And what he would do. Here he passed by. Tom, and she reached out. I don't figure she jumped on somebody's shoulder to see where he was at. She had to get down like the rest she of them. She come down just like the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah. He, knew yeah. he knew where she was at and she, she wanted to see hey, him. Fresh food, she right. wanted to touch him. Yeah. Yeah. He knew she wanted to touch him. My friends, tonight, if you don't want to touch Jesus, he'll pass you by. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. He'll pass you by if you don't want to reach out and take hold of him and get him in right. your life. He'll pass you by. You've got to get in the way. He won't save nobody against their will. No, I want to. He would have passed a man's house up one night if he hadn't called on him. Mm -hmm. He would have went right on by, wouldn't he? Yeah, he right on by because they do. You know, you know. There was a man climbed up in a sinking more one time just so he could see Jesus. He knew he was up there. I think he come down and maybe went home with him. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, it was hard to oh, see yeah, him. He was to God. If you, are, if you get a desire to take Jesus home with you tonight, friends, He'll go home with you. Yeah. He's yeah. dwelled in me for 44 years. Short. He went home with me at night. I've never been the same. Yeah. Never had a desire to be the same. I had a desire to do the will of God. Yeah. And I want to keep that desire. Mm -hmm. And I want to be clothed upon this church. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, Let's don't fall back into the things that we used to be. Mm -hmm. No one, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, yeah. I try sometimes I get more mad. Terrible. But, We know that this earthly house, this tabernacle, being dissolved, you know that you don't feel like you did 20 years ago. You know this house is a person day by day. We're going away. Listen, knowing this earthly house of this tabernacle being dissolved day by day. We earnestly, there's your sincerity, there's your honesty, there's your ugliness. We earnestly moan and 
and grown to be clothed upon, Brother Bill, from that house which is from above. Listen, if you want to be clothed upon, I'm talking about the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. You want to dress up, dress up in God's righteousness. And I'm telling you what, you look good. the outside will appear clean also. You, look good. you walk in the righteousness of God, clean the inside of the platter, the outside will appear clean. Yep. Bless God tonight, listen. I want to be clothed upon from that house which is from above. Righteousness. It don't change this whole flesh. But it changes the inside of the heart of men and women of the soul. Amen. So tonight, listen. By grace are you saved through faith. Mm -hmm. And not of yourselves. But it is a gift of God. That's it. My friends tonight, I wish that we could get our people to have a desire enough to humble themselves down and call out on Jesus to save them from their sins. My friends tonight, we love you. God loves you. Jesus loves you. The world may not love you, but His church does. So tonight, if you want the benefits from Jesus, desire Him. Desire to do what He's asked you to do. And the first commandments, God sent out to people, He commanded people to repent and believe the God. So, except you repent, you'll perish. You'll mm -hmm. die in your sins. Yeah. Real good. good preach. Ross, I you stand up here, reminded that the door is still open. While we sing, the choir come back up to sing, but there's somebody ready for the old church. Today is the day of salvation. Yes, today. Yes, not yesterday, not tomorrow. Today. Now is the accepted time. The Spirit, I know, is here and it's strong. It's bidding. It's a bidding to the cousin. So you need to do what the Spirit, the Lord, says you did. Brother Ross, can I ask you to park them on the other side? Boy, I hope our people get the desire to seek after the Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 There may be someone ready here tonight for the church. If you're seeking after them, you can find them. God <coughs> shows you more than him. He said, seek and you can find them. You are. Oh, you'll be up. Yes, you are. Do you want him to go home with you tonight? Well, he's been home with me. He's been in my house for the rest of your house, too, for a long time, man. Went home with us, stays with us. He goes with us to work. He goes with us out wherever we go. He's right dwelling inside of us. Living with us. He'll live with you. Fourteen. God adds to the church daily. He knows your heart and mind. He knows your desires tonight. And He will add you to His church if you'll move on that faith. Believe me. But for someone ready, not have no better time to get started than tonight. Yeah, right. Amen. <laughs> oh, the one. For someone ready to come up, that Brother Rex know. Next thing we can take you down to the water and baptize you in Christ. Yeah. Raise you to walk a new life. You set your mind and your affections on the things which are in love and not on the things of this world. But there's not a preacher in the house to walk that new life for you. You have to do that yourself. Yeah.
Yeah. Well, I say move according to the way you feel. Yeah. You feel like you'd like to have the prayers of the church to come up, let somebody know. If you have a mind to equal right back to you, see, it ain't going to bother you in no way. And if the Lord has forgiven you your sins, you tell the yes, church. Yes, yes. You know, that God has forgiven me, and I want to be a child of the king. And yeah, that's right. Right. I'm willing to do right. what it takes. Yeah, that's right, program. Mm -hmm.
Jesus said he wouldn't move, wouldn't move. He looked around and he said, Brother, have we quit?
don't have the ecstasy. Because I don't worship. I don't think I go. I say that anymore. Yeah. That's true. Where George is the one who got everybody started this way. We can treasure up what we've heard and felt this evening. One of these days we may end up down to old folks and all. And uh, we'd like to be in a service like this. And what we treasure up, Brother Paul, in our minds and hearts right now, while we're, while we're able to do, and that'll go a long way in the future if God allows us to, to live to a point where we may end up in the old folks home, you know. They're laying there and wishing we could be in a service, but then them services will come back to our mind. Yeah. Say thank you, Lord, for those good days. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else needs to be spoken? Any appointments that needs to be given? I'd like to speak a little bit. A little less than a half an hour, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we read a whole lot. It's hard for me to remember anything of past history. Yeah. Can't hardly remember anything at all. Yeah, but uh, I read in the book one time where the things are going to get worse than what they are. Yeah. If we're talking about natural things, the storms of life, have you ever seen Storms like we've been having lately. What about that big fire they had out there? Yeah. 250 some thousand acres. One fire. They don't time. Children, I'm telling you, with all that I have to speak with tonight, we're living down in the last days. Amen. And I truly oh, yeah. believe that. Rejoice. We need to get on fire for the Lord. Yeah. And let Him know. He already knows. May yeah. God bless you, my prayer. Real good. Any appointments at least we get? Church at Salem every Friday night. It's been having some good service. I'm glad to see you. I mean, everyone that just so welcome you can be. We'd be glad to have you. We're going to try to get down there. And this is coming next, this next Sunday, uh, Jarrett Manor Cemetery. Brother James and Brother Rex. I guess I will look after them. Scott's first one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, the association is coming up pretty soon. Moving around pretty fast. Uh, sisters, I think, are going to have <coughs> cook some dinner. I think they're going to have maybe some soup and sandwiches and stuff on maybe Friday and Saturday. And they'll cook on Sunday. We don't know how everything's going to be. When we get here in three weeks, it could be a lot of, a lot of going on. Yeah. Yeah. But that's her mind right now. Let your sister know what's going to happen. This old Irish is here in the green It's yeah. right here. It's in our area. Yeah. It's right yeah. off somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've left uh, several of my family, my daughters, granddaughters, and stuff, are working down here in these hospitals right in London, all this stuff. It's bad. It's really bad. Yeah, it is. Yeah. One, one ward and one floor of the St. Mary's Hospital had to close it down. The right. of nurses had to yeah, it shut down. That old it's bad. Calf Creek, I believe it is, this coming week, uh, revival. I don't remember correctly. Oh, it's called, there's one this week. I don't remember where it's at. Calf Creek. I think it is Calf Creek. I think the one is called. It started tonight. It did. It started tonight. Okay. Tommy will be there Wednesday night. Okay, that's what I was trying to think. I was pretty sure that I was right about that. Okay, what? And then. Number seven, I think. Yeah, seven. And then next week, after that, is Union. It starts on the 16th. Brother Rogers called on that night. It starts on Monday night. Seven o'clock down through that week. I think we got some good singers to come too. So, watch your grand turn to be. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> of course, we're Wednesday night of that week. Uh, if it rolls around, I'll be speaking on that night. They won't be coming. So, we'd like to have some of us come over and support us. Yeah, we would like to have some support. Yeah. We'd like to have some support. Yeah. 
we have a good time. It's a good church and good churches to go to. That's where Brother Jamie Richardson, he's a member over there, and he's good coming over here and preaching for us. Yeah. They really, they really like to first come over there. So. You can, you don't know where it's at. All you have to do is ask us. I'll give you some mad direction. Yeah, don't, don't you make too much attention. You think you're on the cow pass and everything else. Get you lost. We'll make it. No, we'll make it. If you want to go with us, just let us know. We try to go over with you. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Yeah, that's a good one. And it goes a long way. I heard a brother say the other day that he wanted to go to Echo. Goodness me. Saturday night, Saturday night, Sunday. See if he's going to buy a brother up in the church for life. That's what he ought to do. Why are you doing that? Ain't made a couple. That's a joke, Moses. I'm glad the fish can't work here. Better float it, yeah. It's gonna work. Come on, give us a big fish to float. Are you all done? Don't give them an excuse to get started again. Hurry. Heavenly Father, we're thankful for this day and you know all the thank you all the services around. We thank you for all your mercy and your goodness. All yeah, Lord, thank you so much. Lord, we're thankful to be here tonight. Bless you. Let everybody's in a good frame of mind. Yeah, Lord. Lord, enjoy what you sent this way to us today. And yeah. here is just lifted our hope and give our faith. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, if there's any here that's not saved, we pray that we'll trouble their minds and their hearts. Yeah, we'll Lord. Sleep a week yeah. tonight, or tomorrow night, or the next night. We pray that you'll trouble them to the point they see the fire. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you for every week that Paul, his brother, that spoke and sang it. Thank you for everything. As you go with us now, bless the services coming up. Bless the rest.